going on guys in this video I wanted to demonstrate um, slash show you guys how I converted a 2004 Honda Accord normal stock key into essentially a CRV I believe a Honda CRV the SUV key on the right which is a little flip key so what you're gonna need to do is essentially disassemble the Honda key and there's only one screw that you need to take apart it's it's fairly simple and take the little remote the keyless entry remote portion out it just comes out uh, then I bent the metal key and you have to be willing let me disclaim disclaimer before anything else uh, you have to be willing to uh, pretty much use this key and Hopefully this is a backup key or something. I do not recommend doing this with only one key. You need to take the key out of that little area, break it out of the plastic. You need to take the metal key portion. And then you need to get this little magnetic strip out of this little compartment. And uh, you can pretty much just take it out with a uh, little pin, a uh, bulletin board pin or something. But uh, be careful with this. If you break this, your key will not work. Uh, now is a great time to replace the battery if you need to. And I actually replaced it with the CR1620 is a little bit thicker but um, you could use the original and just test out that, that still works and I'm not gonna go through how to program that you can do that there's other videos that show how to do that as well this is the the new case the key case that is the flip key and you're gonna need to take that apart as you can see the uh, keyless entry portion with the buttons that that just fits in there pretty easily there's not much to that the key portion of doing this is a little bit more difficult and like I said I don't recommend doing this unless you're fully comfortable with losing this key or if you royally F this up uh, you know uh, that's that's at your discretion to do to choose to do so or not But essentially what you could do is use the old key. You just have to take this apart, the assembly apart, and pull a pin out holding uh, the key that you would normally probably get cut by a locksmith. And uh, you just pull this pin out, hit it, hit it with a hammer with some smaller little piece, and then just get it out. It's, it's really it's, it's pretty simple. It's pretty easy. As you can see, uh, once you pull that out, you look at the old key and you can see there's they're different you're gonna have to modify the original key to get this to work I'll reiterate that you're gonna have to modify the original key so if you want to just replace your old key you can do that there's stuff you can buy to just do that but this is actually gonna modify it so that it becomes or transforms into a flip key and it does work I'll show at the end of the video it, this does actually work in my Honda Accord I've got a coupe but uh, you're gonna need to mark where you need to cut off the ends to this uh, like I said I, I recommend doing this at your discretion because if you mess this up uh, that's that's it <laughs> So do not do this on, if you only have one key, do not do this on one key and one key alone. I had two keys. I did it on one successfully and then decided to do it again on the other one. And as you can see, I cut the two little edges off. So it's about the same, same width right there. 
that's fairly easy. You can use a hacksaw and a file to get that down. Then you just need to file down one side of it to get it to fit into the little assembly. Uh, that takes a little bit of time. And it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, but uh, I do recommend the more time you spend to get this perfect, or as close to perfect as you can, the, probably the better off you're gonna be. Uh, but as you can see, here's the original key, and it's fitting in the assembly. This one wasn't even as good as the first one I did, to be honest, but it still works, works just fine. And uh, you just need to drill where you would put the pin in on this one as well. So that's got to that's gotta line up as well. Once this is done, all you have to do is uh, pretty much put the pin in. I even put some super glue in here. Uh, so it's definitely not coming out of this little mechanism that flips, flips open. It was already pretty tight in there anyway, just how I filed it and how how uh, close the tolerances were. Uh, figuring out how the heck to put this back together with the spring and the button. It's pretty much goes like that I'm showing it in the video it's pretty much exactly how it goes on there and you just have that little tiny pin off of the spring or that little end of it it needs to go in a certain spot and then you just line it up also do not forget this is very important do not forget the little metal strip or magnetic strip this your car will not the ignition will not turn over it will not start if you do not have that in close proximity to this key. So you're, you need to have that. But Like I said, put the spring in there and close this as best you can. This is probably very finicky and this is really the most difficult part is putting it all back together and making sure that it works. But that's it. Uh, this cost me $10. And all I had to do was just modify, like I said, the original key. And that's originally for a Honda CRV, I believe. But this is a seventh generation Honda Accord. And you can see it turns over the the lock. And as well the uh, the trunk, it opens the trunk and even turns over the ignition. So Everything does work, my car starts, and that's pretty much it.